In this video, I'm going to show you how to use NaviX to watch over 200 satellite TV channels that come from a provider known as Dishworld. NaviX is actually 11 years old. It's the oldest add-on and it has more content than any other add-on. The reason a lot of people don't use it is because of the interface and I'm gonna show you how to get to it what you would do you come to the add-on page this section here and once you open it you see all the add-ons that are installed on your device it's in alphabetical order so you navigate down the NaviX and select it now once you open it you can either click to start here or if you have things saved you might want to go to my favorites for example I have dish world already saved to my favorites but you won't have favorites yet since it's the first time you've used it so I'm gonna show you how to get to things click start here and you can investigate all these categories most viewed in 24 hours most viewed over seven days most recently updated the latest entries and you get the networks I prefer to use the search function and the more recently updated Once you hit search, you want to hit the one at the top, Navi Extreme. Search Navi Extreme. New search. And you can see my previous searches. I searched for all working. Now, the reason I search for all working because a lot of people when they add content to NaviX they'll they'll put all working as part of the title of whatever they're posting so if you include that as your search term it'll show you everything that has all working listed and this is NaviX this is a uh, I mean this is Dish World as well as this one, this one, and this live international TV. Now in order to keep from having to do these searches or from having to search through pages and pages of content until you find the links each time you launch NaviX. I suggest you favorite items by hitting the menu button on your remote. The menu button is the button that has the three lines on it. Once you hit that, this menu will pop open. And you will go down here to where it says add selected item to favorite and select it. Now you can hit done and it will save it with this information or you can erase this and give it the name you want for example you might want to put satellite TV channels or if you're doing a sports one you might want to put all sports channels once you're done naming it hit done and that's it Now the reason why I do searches is because in NaviX, every time something is updated, it goes to the top of the list and it pushes everything else down. And as you can see, this is page two of 83 in just this one section. So I don't wanna have to search through pages and pages 
just to find the Dish World channels, so I save everything to favorites. Go back to the start screen. Now, instead of clicking start here, you would come to favorites. And you have your channels. Select it and it pulls up a list of channels. Now this is the reason why a lot of people don't like to use NaviX because of the look of it, the interface. Yeah. And he told me the only reason his wife married him was because of his hair. So you had to do it. So I had to do the hair. The hair was They don't like the way it looks. But you get a lot of good channels. All in HD. And then sometimes you come across these subfolders where you click it and it'll open up other channels. And remember, this is just one of the many ways you can watch live TV on your device. And this is just one of the one of the providers on NaviX that provides this type of content. There's other providers with that provide live channels. Here's a look at some of their sports channels. And remember, this is just the things that Dish World is providing. So there is a sports package. Now I'm going to go back to the start here button to show you how it looks. I'm going to most recently updated category. And this is the way it looks. You come here, you see these different links. And once you select one, it opens up just a list, either of movies or TV shows, live TV, pay-per-views, documentaries, all sorts of things. Breaking news channels. And this is a, it's just a different provider. The last one I showed you was from Dish World. This is just a different source. And each time something new gets added to the list, it pushes these other things down. For example, if I come back in a few hours, this 247 News channel might not even be visible. And at the bottom of the page, it tells you the page number. This is actually item 9 of 49 items on this page. And when I get down to the bottom, there'll be an arrow that says next. And it'll let me click to go to the next page. more news channels hmm. 
and during things like pay-per-views you'll start you'll see those in the list and when you get to the bottom of a page you'll see those little arrows going to the right and when you select it it just it brings up a new page and the reason a lot of people don't like NaviX is because you have to do a lot of this looking page after page but if you're willing to spend the time doing it you'll find a lot Now I just went to this section which is things that are the most visited in the past seven days. Blu-ray movies. A lot of good movies in here. A lot of these are still in theaters. Now, the reason I like this section is because it shows you things that are the most visited, which is an indication that a lot of people are going here because it has good content. So anything you see here is just something that a lot of people are going to. So now you have an idea of how to use NaviX. Now to exit, you have to arrow over. Not arrow, because you don't hit the back arrow. You hit the, the center control panel on the remote. You press over to the left one time and this panel pops up. You want to go down to where it says exit and then hit the center select button and it'll let you exit. You go back to this page.